All right, the official report just came out from the National Weather Service, and as I mentioned at the top of the hour, Ramona has set a record, but that is the only record set today. And look at these temperatures. We hit 112 in Escondido, 110 in Poway, 106 in El Cajon, 110 in Fallbrook, 108 in Alpine, and none of those are records. The records were just too hot when we had that heat wave in 2020 during this stretch, but Ramona, by two degrees, set that record. All right, if you live in the southern portions of the county, since yesterday, you've probably noticed all of this smoke. You can see it covering our Chula Vista cam as we look from Otay Mountain. And air quality is in the moderate to unhealthy for sensitive groups across many areas of the county. This is from the Air Pollution Control District. Currently, Air Alpine is seeing the worst air quality. It is actually, they are forecasting it to improve tomorrow, but I wanted to show you our local forecast. So this is all due to a fire that's burning across the border in Mexico. Cal Fire is keeping an eye on it. As of right now, it's, uh, it poses no threat to the United States or us here in San Diego. But air quality may get worse going towards the north, even maybe up into the Poway area as we head into tomorrow. And depending on this fire and how long it goes and what we're dealing with, it could continue into Saturday and maybe even into Sunday, especially in southern portions of the county. So if you smell smoke, you want to limit your time outdoors. And when that smell of smoke goes away, you want to clear your air filter, change your air filters in your home and in your vehicle. All right, right now it is quite a bit cooler compared to where we were at this time yesterday, but especially to how hot we were this afternoon. We're already in the 90s for most inland neighborhoods, so our drop in temperatures has been pretty drastic this afternoon, even though it's still exceptionally hot outside. Tomorrow morning, or we'll start off with some patchy clouds, but mostly clear along our coastline. Temperatures in the afternoon, we're going to average right about 89 degrees, but you go just a few miles inland, you're easily going to be in the 90s. And then you head a few more miles inland from that, you'll be in the triple digits. And look at this. There is a possibility of some thunderstorms tomorrow. And while peak activity will be over the mountains, there is a slight chance for the inland neighborhoods and the deserts as well. The best chance is going to be the areas closest to the mountain areas. The mountains and the deserts, you are set to expire from that heat warning at 8 o'clock tonight. High pressure is going to be surging in that monsoon moisture, but it's also pushing that cold air all the way up into Canada. So again, for the inland neighborhoods, your heat warning continues till Monday night, while the heat advisor at the coast also until Monday night. We're still going to be above average, even for the mountains and the deserts, just not as hot as it's been the last couple of days there. And then that chance for monsoon storms. But look at this. This. Temperatures drop by 15 to 35 degrees by Thursday, going from well above normal by about 10 to 20 degrees to below normal by about 5 to 10 degrees. Along the coast, we're closer to 90s through the weekend and then 70s, low to mid 70s in store for us Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And look at this drop in temperatures. I mean, these are plummeting temperatures. Inland neighborhoods in the 100s through Monday, 90s on Tuesday, and low. 80s Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The mountains will plummet from the 90s to the 70s in just a few days, but it is going to be hot through the weekend and that threat for storms. You're going to want to limit your time outdoors and the desert areas. We're also dropping down to 100 by Thursday and Friday.